All right, what's up, guys? So, bought some brand new dividend stocks. Now, these are fairly dangerous, and I don't really recommend this to everyone. But if you guys really want to buy in, don't put all your money in it. In fact, only put about 10% or less of your portfolio into these because they're a little bit risky, and of course, things always change up, and you know, you don't want to be on like the bad end of things so if you check out redwood trust this is rwt if you look at the five-year graph you clearly see it's always been pretty stable it's like 16 17 dollars you know the dividends are pretty insane and there's a good amount of people that own this on robin hood and currently it's four dollars and fifty cents and you can slowly kind of see like this small climb up for the Redwood Trust, which is pretty good. Now, I did buy 10 shares and it's just 45 bucks, and I'm losing just a few pennies here and there, but the dividends is insane at 30.77%. This is crazy. The market cap has practically been destroyed because this stock has been dropping a lot, but this one engages in mortgages real estate related assets and they pretty much do like lending programs business purpose lendings multifamily investments and pretty much anything that starts the word mortgages and we all know right now mortgages are not doing so well because of the disease and this crazy pandemic and people have really lost faith in the real estate sector but it's even crazier if you go to like the mortgage lending business, you know, like the loaning programs, they're not making that much money. And Redwood Trust is in a pretty big danger right now. But of course, that means it's at a really cheap price. It's $4.50. Before this crazy stuff, it was almost at $18. So we're looking at a lot of percentage of gains. And this is like a really rare dip for a lot of these companies. You probably never see this again. And usually it doesn't go down that much. If you check out the dip of December 2018, S&P 500 lost. 15 to 18 percent but this one has only just dipped a few bucks and it automatically got rebound so yeah this is a really good stock if you want to have some super high dividends because 30.77 percent is something that you don't see every day but keep in mind that they're mostly in the mortgage industry now the whole reason why I'm not too scared about this is because the states are slowly opening up. Now, what does this mean is more people are going back to their jobs. When more people are going back to their jobs, more people will be paying their rent and people will be paying their mortgages, stuff like that. And also, this is pretty incredible by CNBC. Weekly mortgage applications point to a remarkable recovery in the home buying sector. So this is pretty insane because... A lot of this unemployment news is just temporary. It's not gonna stay around for a long period of time because if it does, I'm pretty worried myself. But it's just for a short period of time. It's not like for years and years like the Great Depression or, or 2008. It's just for a few months because eventually stores, restaurants, hotels, for example, they have to open up. And when they opened up, you need to rehire back the employees or your store or hotel cannot be operational. So eventually people will be going back to their jobs. This is temporary, this is not permanent. And also states reopening up should definitely be a super bullish indicator. And also the next stock I bought was New York Mortgage Trust. The five-year graph is also super flat. You can clearly see it right here. It's always at around $6.20. Right now it's $1.95. It's super cheap. Like if you guys wanna buy a double cheeseburger, might as will buy a share of New York Mortgage Trust because the dividend yield is 41.88, which is absolutely insanely high. I, I can't even imagine this. And this is based in New York, and this is the same thing. It invests like real estate investment trusts, you know, acquisitions, mortgage-related stuff, you know, housing-related assets, and they're mostly mortgages. And with mortgages having you know there's a lot of rumors saying how people can't pay their mortgages that is kind of scary now there are bills trying to get passed so people don't have to pay their mortgages for quite some time you know just to catch their breath and stuff like that because people don't have jobs but this is kind of dangerous because these things could actually go bankrupt if people don't pay their mortgages and if these mortgage-backed securities, they don't do so well, if the real estate sector is doing really trashy. But of course, with the states reopening up and also bullish indicators of the mortgages and also home buying sector, things are looking kind of good for these. So I say maybe put like 2%, 3%, maybe even 5% of portfolio into this. You clearly see I only have about 0.48% of my portfolio in this. This one only 0.55%. I bought it just for fun. And honestly, the dividends are so high. It's honestly kind of hard to pass up. And these prices, you don't see them often. Anyway, thanks for watching and comment below.